In particle physics, the hypercharge Y of a particle is related to the strong interaction, and is distinct from the similarly named weak hypercharge which has an analogous role in the electroweak interaction. The concept of hypercharge combines and unifies isospin and flavor into a single charge operator. Definition Hypercharge in particle physics is a quantum number relating the strong interactions of the SU model. Isospin is defined in the SU model while the SU model defines hypercharge. SU weight diagrams are two-dimensional with the coordinates referring to two quantum numbers, is, which is the Z component of isospin and Y, which is the hypercharge, charm, bottomness, topness, and baryon number. Mathematically, hypercharge is and conservation of hypercharge implies a conservation of flavor. Strong interactions conserve hypercharge, but weak interactions do not. Relation with electric charge and isospin The Gelman-Nishijima formula relates isospin and electric charge where I3 is the third component of isospin and Q is the particle's charge. Isospin creates multiplets of particles whose average charge is related to the hypercharge by. Since the hypercharge is the same for all members of a multiplet, and the average of the I3 values is zero. SU model in relation to hypercharge. The SU model has multiplets characterized by a quantum number J, which is the total angular momentum. Each multiplet consists of two J plus one substates with equally spaced values of JZ, forming a symmetric arrangement seen in atomic spectra and isospin. This formalizes the observation that certain strong baryon decays were not observed, leading to the prediction of the mass, strangeness and charge of the omega minus baryon. The SU has supermultiplets containing SU multiplets. SU now needs two numbers to specify all its substates which are denoted by lambda 1 and lambda 2. Specifies the number of points in the topmost side of the hexagon while specifies the number of points on the bottom side. Examples The nucleon group have an average charge of plus one half, so they both have hypercharge y equals one. From the Gelman Nishijima formula, we know that proton has isospin I3 equals plus one half, while neutron has I3 equals minus one half. This also works for quarks. For the up quark, with a charge of plus two thirds, and an I3 of plus one half, we deduce a hypercharge of one third, due to its baryon number. For a strange quark, with charge minus one third, a baryon number of one third and strangeness of minus one, we get a hypercharge y equals minus two thirds, so we deduce an I3 equals zero. That means that a strange quark makes a singlet of its own, while up and down constitute an isospin doublet. Practical obsolescence. Hypercharge was a concept developed in the 1960s to organize groups of particles in their particle zoo and to develop ad hoc conservation laws based on their observed transformations. With the advent of the quark model, it is now obvious that hypercharge Y is the following combination of the numbers of up, down, and strange quarks. In modern descriptions of hadron interaction, it has become more obvious to draw Feynman diagrams that trace through individual quarks composing the interacting baryons and mesons. Rather than counting hypercharged quantum numbers, weak hypercharge, however, remains of practical use in various theories of the electroweak interaction.